Welcome back to my channel. I'm Larissa. Today, I'm super excited to take you along as I sort through all of the items I purchased at the Stanley Katz estate sale. For reference, as I go through this, I'm showing you that I filled two Fresh Direct bags. I think there's mostly clothing in these, maybe some shoes. I also have this stack, which is some hats, and there's a picture frame there. I have this vintage folding um, hanging bag luggage that's full of suits. And last but not least, this vintage travel bag that is full of some miscellaneous things, we'll see. If you watched my previous video, you'll know that Stanley Katz was an autistic gentleman who lived with his parents. And when his parents passed away in the 70s, he didn't want to change anything or alter anything in their family apartment. So the apartment went virtually untouched from the 1970s onward. Also, Stanley's parents worked at Alexander's department store in the Bronx. So there were many items that had been purchased for Stanley by his mother from Alexander's that just remained untouched in their original packaging. While it can feel like you've hit the jackpot when you come upon places like this, that doesn't negate from the time and the skill it takes to process these items for resale. Everything gets carefully inspected and then cleaned or fixed up as needed. I would say this is the biggest labor of love when it comes to being a vintage reseller. It's the part that most people don't think about when they shop your items or check your price tags. But for me, it feels worth it if I can help curate these items in a way that will help them find a new home. I'm going to start off showing you all of the shirts I purchased still in their original packaging. Like I mentioned, uh, Stanley's parents worked at Alexander's department store. So many of the things that I picked up still had the original Alexander's tag on it. This shirt was listed at $5.99 and it's Brigade brand. It has the little dagger collar. So for now, I'm leaving all of these in their packaging. I haven't really decided what um, the best way will be to process these for my shop, but this is at least to just show, show them off. This one has an actual Alexander's tag and $2.99, still in its original packaging. This one still has the store plastic on it. I'm not sure if it has the price tag on it, but that has a gimbals tag. Another one's still in the original plastic. That is, has an imported fabric, single needle tag on it. Looks like there's some cool embroidered pleats down the front. Oh, this one's cool. Look at the pattern on that one, that's short sleeve. A dagger collar, checkered, or box. All right, next up, this one might be more of like an 80s or 90s. Oh yeah, this is definitely 90s. This is basic edition, so the Walmart brand, but still in its original packaging. We've got a Puritan Citation Club checkered. This one has an Alexander's tag as well. Love the plaid on that. And a Hadway tag. Another workwear type flannel. Love the dagger collar. And then again, possibly more of an 80s or 90s um, find here, but still with the original plastic and packaging. Oh, this has a tag as well. A few other shirts I picked up that weren't in packaging, but still had the original tag on it. This polo, oops, show off the tag there. It's arrow, love that. And then these two plaid short sleeve shirts. Let me see what the tags say on these. Woodward and Lothrop John Wanamaker on that one. 
and same for this. When I was touring the apartment, there was a large stack of shirts and tops that had come back from the dry cleaner but hadn't been worn, so they still had the little dry cleaning tags on them. So I picked up a couple of those. There's some damages on some of these, but I'm hoping to be able to um, bring them back to life. This is another short sleeve checkered. I loved the collar on that and the plaid. This one, another short sleeve plaid. This one's probably the most damaged. You can see the discoloration on that, but look at the details on the pocket with the stripes. Love that little collar on there. And then I think this is the last one. This has an Alexander's tag on it. And I loved this fit. Sweater vests are so in, especially the retro ones. Thought this was so beautiful. Button front sweater vest. It still has the original Alexander's tag on it and brand tag. Cute sweater vest. And then these all were not new with tags, but we have this wool. We have these two wool. And then this one is a more modern tag and fit, but still pick this one up. I grabbed two cardigans that were kind of similar in their zipper style, but this one is thin, green striped, and then this is a, a thicker knit with the blue stripe. Alexander's tag on that one. And then this is a little bit, I think, older tag. Two pairs of shorts from the 90s with original tags on them. Show that one off. This one has some damage on it as well, but I'm hoping to clean that up. And then this one, there's the tag on that. There was a huge stack of workwear pants. I only picked up one pair. Love this color green, a straight relaxed leg. Here's the tag on that one. Two pairs of slacks from the 1970s with their original tags. There's that one. And then this pair. Next up from writing the coat closet, I got this. I'm gonna go ahead and take the plastic off of this because it's sort of falling apart anyway. This one. There's the tag on that London fog. It has the faux fur lining on it. It might be detachable. Yep, yeah, it's detachable. Classic trench coat. Another London fog jacket. <laughs> Love this draped interior. Utility pockets on the sleeves. This is a really nice one. London fog jacket with original tags on it sleek cut and then I loved this one the tag is the membership and it still has its original tags on it as well another lightweight jacket I picked out four of the suits there was probably 25 or so available but I chose this one with this green plaid blazer and it has two pairs of brown slacks, a darker pair and a medium colored pair. Oh, and here's the tag on that. This one is a gray checkered plaid blazer with gray pants underneath. These are wool. And then there's the tag on that. Tan plaid blazer with blue pants paired underneath. There's the tag on this one. And I think this one was my favorite. Navy blue blazer with the gold buttons and then the option to do a blue plaid pant or a gray pant underneath. There were multiple pairs of shoes still in the original box. These are the ones I picked out. This black leather shoe is a Florsheim brand. So these obviously had been worn, there's wear on the bottom, but still kept in their box. Another pair of Floor Shine, still in its original box and in 
original shoe bags. You can see there's like minimal tread, if any, on these. Aren't those so stunning? I have a shoehorn, or no, that's not a shoehorn, what is that? Shoe form. <laughs> and then the last pair, the box says Bally, still in original shoe bags. Look at those. These are so gorgeous. Stanley was a man who loved hats. He had quite the hat collection. I brought home four. Let me show these off. This one is a faux fur winter cap. Still had its original tags on it. Loved the brim on that and the little pom-pom on the top. This one has been worn. There's a tag inside that says Waters Cap Millinery. I liked the plaid on that. Stanley was a size small in his clothing and also in his hat size. This is a six and seven eighths. So best for a small shaped head. So this one looks like it might have been worn. It was just kept in its original box. You can see the Stetson sign in there, size six and seven eighths. Classic houndstooth. So lovely. Next up, this Stetson hat with original box. Just took the lid off of that. You can see there's a plastic layer on top. I'm gonna delicately pull this out. So stunning. You can see the Stetson. And the reveal. This is so stunning. So stunning. I can imagine that this might have been a gift and it's perfectly preserved. This one, same, size six and three-fourths. Stunning. I filled up this vintage travel bag with as many of the little small knickknack items, some clothing accessories, so let's go through this. I completely forgot I grabbed these, but these are all vintage socks with their original tags on them. I'll just show these off quickly. This is gold toe. These might be from more of like the late 90s, but all with the original packaging on them. Many of them are from Alexander's with the Alexander's tag on them. <laughs> Leather gloves are next. Many of these also have their original tags on them. These brown leather gloves, black leather gloves. These do not have original tags. Very soft. And the last pair. If you saw my original video, you know that there was a mountainous heap of ties. I only grabbed a couple of them. I loved the thinner tie with classic colors. And here's the last one. This is a little container full of cufflinks. Still in its original box. This is a leather wallet. I guess you would maybe put just credit cards in there. It says, compliments of M Fine Lumber. I grabbed a bunch of these vintage shoelaces. They're all still with their original packaging. Here's the box. And then inside is this shoehorn. with a wooden handle. Okay, let's go through these together. These were all on the dresser. Here's the box. And then inside we have a shoe brush with 
a horse on the top and a shoehorn with a horse. And these are just plastic. And then what's this? Oh, this is a mount for the wall with hooks <laughs> that you would hang these on. I think this is so cool. A vintage clothes brush and lint remover. So a paperless lint remover on one side and then bristles on the other side with a wooden handle. Also on the dresser, this vintage hat stand or hat display. This vintage frame that doesn't have any glass on it has a stand. I thought this would be really cool to put a mirror in for a vanity mirror. And this tin that is full of basic, <laughs> basic sewing supplies, needles, thread. I'm not sure what's in this. We'll open it. Oh, more thread. This is a vintage totes umbrella. Has a little button. I checked it, it works. I think it's a perfect size and it's so sturdy. So I think this is gonna be my new city umbrella. There wasn't any women's clothing at the apartment, but there were a few women's accessories that I think maybe Stanley had saved from his mother. This leather purse, the tag says, Made in France, maybe the Dauphin. Ooh, and inside the pocket, it's a clouded mirror. And if I can get it out, this pocket is tight. Oh, a broken comb. So chic. I showed this clutch off in my original video. Inside there's a little coin purse and then a little mirror and a comb. So sweet. This wallet says Rolf's American Classic. It's leather and it still has its original tags tucked inside of it. A little Anne Klein wallet. Place for photographs, place for credit cards. This is a key holder, still has its original tag on it. Place for your keys here. And then I think the other side must be a coin purse. Another little tiny coin purse, genuine leather, still has its original stuffing in it. Coin purse with original tags still on it. Not sure if this has a label on it. Nope, but it feels like genuine leather. Another wallet still in its original packaging. Showing you where to put your checkbook, your pictures or credit cards. And then there's this, oh, it's a double. For change or anything else. Check out the clasp on this vintage clutch. This looks like a little pocket, I guess. Maybe that's where you tuck your gloves. And then it opens up. Still has original stuffing in it. Little coin purse. Mirror. I love that that was an element of all of these vintage purses. Let's see. It says Wilkoff Original. I can't wait to do research on all of these things. I think these two items are from the ladies department as well these gloves that have little beaded detail. And this is exclusive by Olaf dyed Persian lamb flanks, a lamb's wool cap. It has the little ear flaps that come down to keep your ears warm. 
so pretty. So that is everything. It's going to take me a while to clean, research, process all of these items, but I do intend to list them either on my website or put them into my shop in Brooklyn. But thank you so much for watching and being a part of this opportunity to go through this gentleman's home. My goal with Vintage is to find it, to rescue it, clean it up or fix it, and then help it find a new owner so that it can live on and not only honor the person who originally owned it, but to prevent it from ending up in a landfill. I hope this video has inspired you to want to go treasure hunting. Look up your local estate sales, thrift shops, rummage sales, and if you see something that you love or you could use in your home, go ahead and pick it up secondhand, give it new life, keep these items from just ending up in the trash. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and come back for more small ways you can make a big difference.